Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a blending technique to age your furniture. Blending chalk paint can be used in so many different ways. Sometimes we go for that smooth ombre finish, sometimes we go for a modern or a boho look, but this week we're going to age our furniture while using a blending technique. So let's get started. <laughs> I wanted to do something cool and unique to this hatch. In my opinion, it was outdated and it was a begging me for a makeover. I knew immediately that I was changing this hardware, so I took it off. We're going to need to patch up those holes. For this, I'm using Dixie Bell Mud. I love this more than a wood filler now. It takes a couple hours for it to dry. When it does, we're going to need to sand it smooth. You will need to clean the dust too. You can use a wet towel, but I like to vacuum it. Duke, on the other hand, doesn't like the vacuum. He's been at the war with the vacuum since a puppy. <laughs> My Duke boy. Next, it's time to clean our piece, and for this, I'm using White Lining by Dixie Bell. You just throw some in water and get to it. It works great and that is another product I cannot live without now. I really love that Dixie Bell has everything from start to finish. For this look I chose Three Frog Green. It's so nice and fresh and I've been wanting to try it for a long time. So this was a perfect opportunity. I'm going to use my two inch mini brush for this. It's so refreshing, I absolutely love this green. All the green grass is coming back and the summer is just around the corner. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you get an even thin coat on the borders. We don't want any buildup there. done with our first coat we will let it dry completely then we can begin our blend for the blend I'm using caviar and chocolate I, nice I, miss you. I have a few cheap brushes too one for each color I'm going 
going to use a combination of black and brown to give me an aged look. But first, we need to apply our second coat of green. We're going to work in sections to keep the paint wet. As soon as I finish adding green to the door, I grab my chocolate. Now I'm adding it where I want to blend. It seems like I'm aiming far too low. I usually stick to details and corners. To me, that's the most important part. We still have somewhere to go. So why don't you come over? So why don't you come over? Why don't you come over? Why don't you come over? As soon as I added my brown, I moved right along to Caviar Black. I'm just adding a little bit of this to the places I added brown for some extra depth. To blend, I started with this cheap brush. So why don't you come over? Why don't you I started working my green into the brown and black. Why don't you come over? If it feels like it's drying on you, you can spray with water. I'm standing on my feet with nothing more to say. You just want to go back and forth now. As long as the paint is wet, you should be getting the blend nicely. Just keep going back and forth until you like it. I changed to this oval medium brush now. The job was much easier, like so much easier. Here I'm adding more green and going back and forth even more. We used to hang around town pretty late. You can also play with the balance and add more of any color. So much easier than or like the time I picked you up outside of school. You said, screw my dad, I make my own rules. It was easier than so much easier than Take me back to the take me back to those easy summer days when we stopped at nothing, baby. Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby. They couldn't take us, they couldn't change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried. Now we didn't care at all. Let's 
see the process again. Finish the second coat. We felt so alive, girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief. Yeah, we had one of those things. Add the chocolate. Uh, we just had one of those things. Ooh. Add some caviar right after. I guess I've had some things to figure out. But now that I'm done, I'm full of doubt. Was it easy? Then back to your blending brush and blend it all together by brushing back and forth over it. Say that you would always be mine, but you seem to be doing just fine. Now I think about you. I just can't seem to stop thinking about you. Take me back to the take me back to those easy summer days when we stopped. Now do that to entire piece in sections. Baby, they couldn't take us, they couldn't change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried. Now we didn't care at all. By winter or spring or fall, we felt so alive. And girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief. Yeah, we had one of those things. some cup pools to this hatch for some farmhouse wipe. They couldn't catch us if they tried. No, we didn't care at all. I like to shadow my hardware sometimes. I do this by dry brushing just a little bit around my hardware. Sunshine and mischief. Yeah, we had one of those things. Ooh. We just had one of those things. I'm using the same black and brown combination. Now with my green, I will work it back just a little. I love this effect on the hardware. I wanted to play with the balance a little more. Here, I'm going back with some more black. Then blending it with my base color. back and forth for a while before I'm happy. So that's totally fine. Sometimes I go for hours back and forth. <laughs> Once I was happy with the balance, I did the same on the top of the hatch. Now we can move to protection. I'm using Easy Peasy Spray Wax and a lint-free cloth. In my opinion, this is the fastest way to protect your furniture. Just spray and wipe. It's super fast and super durable. ready for the final touch. I have a brand new bottle of Warm Gold Gilding Wax by Dixie Belle. It's like the best feeling when you open that bottle. Brand new bottle. <laughs> I'm using a small, cheap brush and applying it directly on the hardware and hinges. I got a little bit on the door and I don't even 
don't really care. It will add more character to this hat. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of a rustic glam, like glamorous and farmy, like a farmhouse and glamorous gold. Time for some staging. Here is one of my nerdiest victory dances. <laughs> And that was it, that was it. Easy peasy, guys, easy peasy. Okay, let me know. And that was it, guys. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. Boop. Join me Monday for the Kacha podcast where I will be having... Join me... Join me Monday for the Catch-Up Podcast where I will be having a very special guest and that is Suzanne Fulford, founder of Dixie Bell Paint Company. I'm so excited that I did interview with her and I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm sure you're going to love, you're going to find very good information there. So I hope to see you there. And I really hope you like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next Friday. You know, I will... I will see you next Friday. Bye. I can't.